everyone. In the wake of every major disaster, donations come pouring in from all over, but some types of donations end up causing more problems than helping, and many well-meaning people fall prey to scammers. So, here today with timely do's and don'ts of disaster donating, please welcome Melissa Adams, World Vision's National Director for U.S. Programs, and from the Washington Secretary of State's Corporations and Charities Division, Patrick Reed. Thank you both so much. Okay, Melissa, you just returned from Houston. We've had all of our attention on Florida for a right. while, but Houston's still going through it. What can you tell us? So it's amazing. Three weeks after this disaster, the devastation is still really there. And when you see pictures and stories on the news, it doesn't do it any justice. Right. It was amazing. Neighborhoods are still devastated. People's contents of their lives in their yards. And so what we also saw, though, World Vision, World Vision is there helping um, organizations, churches support the community. And there's so much hope. There's so much encouragement. Families helping families. And so that was just, it was amazing to that see. That is the good yeah. news out of this. Yes. But it's a good reminder that Donating now is certainly something people think about because the emergency is fresh, but that's going to be needed over the long term. Yes, this will be a long term recovery process. And so it is, uh, it, when it's in the media, it's, it's very encouraging to give right away, but we really hope people will continue to give for the long term. For sure. Speaking of giving, Patrick, yes. your office put out a, an alert about scammers. And unfortunately, you know, these disasters bring out the best in people, Thank as we've talked about, but sometimes the worst in others. What do we need to be on guard for? So Whenever there's a natural disaster or a public event, unfortunately, that also tends to bring out the scammers, the ones that are looking to take advantage of the folks that are, are willing to give their money and support to an organization. And uh, our office has actually got a lot of information available uh, for a donor to be able to um, do some research and know who they're giving to right. and get an idea of where their money is going. So don't do it emotionally over the phone. Check it out first. And there's, um, what, Charity Navigator and Give.org, and, and there are several places you can go to really check out who you're giving to. Correct. And for Washington State, the, the Washington State Charities Program actually has uh, information available that you can go in and make sure that they're registered in Washington as they're supposed to be and um, even get some access to some of their more, more recent financial information to see uh, how much money have they raised, how much has mm -hmm. gone to the programs that they're supporting. Which is important because you know what their overhead is, what their CEO makes, some other things that can work as a proxy for how efficient are they exactly. with what they're doing. Melissa, one of the things that is kind of hard to explain to people. Is they see people in Florida or Texas who've lost everything and they think, okay, I'll send stuff. I'll send used clothing or whatever. And, and you can't quite know what's gonna happen to it on the other end. It can actually be more trouble than it's worth. Explain why that is. Yeah, so we do see that in disaster, it brings out the best in people. And so like you said, they want to give. But when organizations are working on the ground, they know firsthand what's needed right away. And giving cash means we can respond right away. When you give other things, it has to be processed and sorted through. And that takes manpower and attention away from those who need it most. So if I get a box of, of clothing that I'm not expecting as a charity, I've got to mend, clean, Correct. find somebody for it so I would have been much better off to just give you 20 40 50 dollars and let you meet needs immediately Absolutely. on the ground. And that's still a compassionate gift and I know people think things feel like a compassionate gift but giving those funds online just as compassionate. And the the stuff may be better used locally when there is a clothing drive or a coat drive but be responsive to Absolutely. what the charitable organization is asking for. Yes. Correct? Yes that is correct. Okay any other do's and don'ts that we should be aware of? Uh, don't fall victim to high pressure tactics. Uh, it, it's got to be done now. You've got to give us the money right now. Uh, never give cash is another one, as far as paper cash. Right. Um, and um, hesitate before or don't give uh, your credit card information by phone. Um, the number of things, in, uh, based on our website, um, they also have the information where a, a checklist of items you can ask somebody that's soliciting for a donation. Uh, and if they can't oh, that's answer, good. and if you, they can't answer those questions, uh, then it uh, causes concern. To, to look deeper into that organization. Okay, would you give us that link and we'll put it up today? Absolutely. Because we would like to make sure people are able to ask those questions. And it's, it's unfortunate, but people will take advantage of 
um, people's good nature. And so for older relatives or maybe younger relatives, just be sure and share that information and, and help them to understand how to give effectively. Any other warnings you would have for us or, or some do's that are really good to, to think about? So I would say, like Patrick's saying, research the organizations. The organizations that are doing work that's near and dear to your heart, so research them and give to them and, and watch what they're doing. Go to their websites. You'll see pictures and stories. You can follow along and really be a part of the process. That's wonderful. Thank you both. We'll have full information on our website to help people navigate this a little bit better. Very good. Please visit our website for more information about the topics we discussed here. We'll have lots of links for you and we'll be right back.